Hey guys, it's Remy, level 100 Koji, legacy bow player, and top 8 NAPR here with the bow guide. I created this guide to help aspiring bow players in both high and low levels of play better themselves and push their gameplay to the maximum through proper knowledge and usage of the weapon. I hope you enjoy. Bow is the 8th weapon in Brawlhalla. It features a long range yet precise kit based on hard pressure and commitment. While its hitboxes are small, it makes up for it with high damage and quick attacks. If you enjoy fast, read heavy gameplay based on controlling your opponent's moves, Bow is for you. There are 8 Bow characters in Brawlhalla. The 8 characters include Ember, the Fangwild's daughter, Azoth, the One Man Dynasty, Koji, the Wanderer, Diana, the Monster Hunter, Yumiko, the Kitsune, Kaya, the Natural, Zariel, the Celestial, and Vector, the Superbot. The current Bow Legends feature an array of stats. Diana's fully balanced stat spread, Koji's high dex and balance stats, Ember's glass cannon stat spread, and Vector and Azoth's tank spreads. You want to focus on above 6 dex legends for maximum follow-up potential on your lie attack kit. I recommend Koji and Diana. Ember if you can play around the defense, and Azoth if you can play around the signatures. Bo has one of the best flowing kits in the game. It feels like everything can follow up anything, from side light down light to end light nair and so on. The Bo's kit features the following. The end light, a long range but thin anti-air, one of a kind and perfect for juggling and applying pressure on your opponent. The down light, a long range shot that splashes on the ground sets up most of the kit's combos and applies immense pressure. The side light, a strong starter, it keeps the opponent close for follow-ups, but don't get greedy as they aren't true. Nair, high damage, close to the user, and excellent for juggling and following up on yourself. Ser, close to the user lie attack that is useful offstage and when starting your reads. Dare, a long range aerial that comes down at an angle. While it spikes hard, it's rarely used on stage, but very threatening off. It also splashes on the ground. Recovery, a fat fixed angled recovery that can be used to follow up your moves and kill. Ground Pound, slow, high priority, and packs a punch, sets up your aerials off stage, and sends them straight down. Bow hosts one of the most extensive combo and read games in Brawlhalla. Its true combos are numerous, with most stemming from downlight at all healths and some from endlight at low. True combos for all HPs include Downlight Nair. Downlight Sair, Downlight Endlight, and Downlight Recovery. Combos true at white slash low HPs include Endlight Nair, Dare Endlight, Sidelight Endlight, and Downlight Endlight Nair. Strings at white slash low HPs include Downlight Ground Pound, Endlight Sair, Dare Downlight, Sair Sidelight, Downlight Endlight Recovery, and Recovery Endlight. Some low health dodge reads on bow include Sair, Read, Sidelight, Downlight, Auto Combo Nair, Dodge Read, Nair, or Recovery Sidelight, Dodge Read, Sidelight, Downlight, Auto Combo This is it. This is everything. This is what I believe allows you to follow up on your moves, pressure your opponents into making fatal mistakes, and just in general, complete the puzzle that is Bow. Where you are is so very important, and the options you open up for yourself just on positioning cannot be understated. Bow is movement, it's perfect movement, it's consistent movement, and it's rewarding as hell. With perfect and polished movement, the game opens up for you. You become able to do things and force options you probably didn't even know existed. The following clips show how good movement and pressure can lead to stock leads and even kills.
Practice up on where you are and what options you want to throw out from that position. Think about what options your opponent has as well. If you can't get down your positioning and slide inches in every direction, bow just isn't for you. There's too much commitment on the aerials and every hit counts. If you can get it down, one nair becomes two. Two nairs go into an end light. A nair goes into a side light. It feels like it's infinite. You control the map when you've mastered the movement on this weapon. Your aerial threat and ground control cannot be contested. If you master movement on bow, everything falls into place and you become king. Here are some basic movement tips to help get you started. Watch your opponent's aerial jumps and hitboxes. As they are forced to come down, pressure them and catch them with a side light or down light. Look for where people are dodging or want to dodge. It makes your side light down light almost unavoidable. In the air, you can start the steps of juggling with nair and end light when they have no dodge. Dash is your friend on this weapon. Use it. A lot. You do not always have to attack. If you find yourself running out of options, reset. Think. Don't just throw out a move to throw. You can't afford it. Kill options. The main bow characters all feature strong signature kicks, but if your pick isn't one of these, you may find yourself looking for lie attack kill options. Ignoring things that leave you in an edgeguard situation, these include downlight recovery at 180, nair, at 210, downlight nair at 200, end light at 220, and downlight end light at 210. These are really high numbers. Bow does not excel when it comes to raw kill power. Edge guards. For what bow lacks in raw kill power, it makes up for with some of the strongest and most consistent edge play in the game. Fast and fearsome are words to describe Bo's offstage game. With instant punishes to a dodge and follow-ups on itself, a bow user with good movement tracks down his opponent to a point. Sare into dare, dare into sare, the threat of ground pound, and taking a recovery frame one all come together to control the wall and secure early knockouts. In the following clips, you can see bow players knock out their opponents offstage with pinpoint accuracy and consistent play. Dare is your friend off stage. You have to use it. Sarah is fast and sends at an angle. Make sure you use it to pressure your opponent. Your ground pound kills at very early HP and sets up for your other moves. The positioning is crucial. Matchups. Bow doesn't struggle too hard against most of the weapons in the game. It has a very strong threat onto guns, hammer, and spear, and can find itself weak against good guitar players. A bad bow player will lose it every turn. I'll repeat, your movement determines everything. Bow finds itself usually in mid to high tier on tier lists. On character specifics, always remember the options your character has. Signature kits change a lot. Koji, Ember, and Diana all have downlight and stake, for example, and all are very strong. Remember to go for stake specific dodge reads? Mastering bow is one thing, mastering your legend is another.
A player looking to master bow needs good neutral game. Approaching and disengaging matters a lot. And like I stated, movement, movement, movement. Master it. He needs to understand what his hitboxes do and where he should be after connecting a hit. Use the first few interactions of a stock to see how your opponents react to your single hits and turn that knowledge into confirmed reads throughout the game. Sidelight downlight isn't true, and some people may even punish you for going for it, so don't focus only on that. Bow isn't a good starting weapon if you're aiming high, but that's not to say its floor isn't easy. With high damage strings that many people may not dodge out of, it can easily get you out of low ranks, but when it gets serious you may find yourself struggling. It's not just an auto combo weapon, you need to know that. If you're looking for high level bow play, look no further than Remy, Boomy, and LDZ in North America. In Europe you can look towards Blue, Hyson, and Akno. Daiku may not have the placements for it, but there are times where his bow movement shines through, so check him out as well. I'd like to give a special thanks to my friend Align for being my test dummy and playing against my bow, Daiku for the EU knowledge in some of the clips found here, BMG for everything, the tournaments, and the game, and thank you all for watching. Merry Christmas.